emotionally subdued, uh, considering the kind of uh, response and reception that has um, been thrown up by this particular incident. I am so glad and happy. But first, let me thank God Almighty, who steered up a global tempest of sort um, that moved people towards the consciousness of securing my release. If, uh, if it were not for such divine intervention, I don't think we'll be here. That is my conviction, because at a point, it was, I, I asked him several questions. So what is this? I walked straight to uh, DSS. I was under invitation. Of course, my feeling was, whatever it is, I'll be asked questions. Then whatever uh, mis uh, misgiving, we corrected, and uh, subsequently, I never thought that I was going to stay there more than one day, not to talk about one week. Um, in all things, I appreciate the kind of support that I got, and uh, for the issues of press freedom, this is sacrosanct, and uh, there's no way we can overemphasize it. Nigerians have the freedom to speak, and they should not be gagged. They should not be gagged. And for my organization, they have put up a front page comment on this particular matter, re-emphasizing the need for the press to be free under whatever circumstance. If there are misgivings, it can be corrected. But hounding free persons over whatever they have put down or whatever they have written is not the solution. And I had the privilege to also say one or two things even uh, we, uh, before DSS. Uh, there, are, there are nice people, though. Let me, let me make it clear. I was not maltreated. I was not maltreated. I was not maltreated. I have to make, it, make this point clear. But the moment you are heard against your will, that in itself puts you under psychological pressure that could upset your entire system. And that's exactly what happened. My head deteriorated within days. My blood pressure hit 170. Um, I saw myself even, it was as if I was going to be diabetic. I was united frequently. But then, I, it, on each of the occasions, I, have, I met persons, office, officers that were very, very friendly. In fact, when I was released, I was about to go. I felt like coming back to always, no, that is, that is the way I felt. But that is not to say there are not things going down under the under currents that are not available to me. To your knowledge. To my knowledge. So, having said that, the, 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 the issues continues to reverberate, and that is the issue of allowing the media to hold government to account. I don't want to antagonize the authority. That is, has never been my pattern. But sometimes, when you put out reports, based on perception, it could be misunderstood that either you are trying to bring the government down or that you are trying to subset the system. That entirely has nothing to do with me. It was a report that is already in the public domain, like I, I've always said. And um, uh, lessons have been learned, whether on the side of the media, whether on the side of the, the holding authorities, Lessons have been learned, and I, I pray and wish that the authorities should also learn how to deal with the media. We are, nobody is trying to run anybody down. That is not the intention. I do not intend to run anybody down. But dealing with the media in a positive manner begets positive response from the media. That's, that's where I will rest it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Mr.